If you have perused the coal resource, you should now have an idea of the features of the quality assurance rubrics for blended learning. In this video, we provide you with a quick recap on how to make the best use of this tool. The prevalent use of blended learning in education makes quality assurance of this mode of provision compelling, especially the judicious mix of in-person and online teaching makes it both an interesting and challenging mode. The possibility of making synchronous and asynchronous interaction with students in the online provision allows course creators to think how and what to cover in which modes. This brings the issue of design to the front and assuring quality is all about design and execution. The rubric was developed by Cole as part of a bigger project that was implemented amongst selected universities in East Africa. This project was called the Partnership for Enhanced Blended Learning, PEBBLE project. Key components of the project were blended learning course development, online learning management, and quality assurance. Cole was responsible for quality assurance, and it was under this component that the rubric was developed. The Pebble project involved supporting a network of institutions to move towards blended learning. So, this is a validated tool that you can adopt in your own context. The purpose of the rubric was to guide institutions and individual lecturers to develop good quality blended courses. Its specific objectives were to prioritize quality in the development of blended learning courses and to evaluate blended learning courses to identify their strengths and weaknesses with a view to improvement. The rubric guide presents blended learning as a mode of delivery that lies on a continuum of various possibilities of blends of face-to-face -face and online learning. It defines 50 quality assurance elements that are packaged under eight quality categories. These eight categories are navigation, content, instructional design, course structure, student support, technology slash media, assessment and quality assurance and evaluation. The rubrics can be used for formative as well as summative assessment of blended learning courses. They can be freely accessed on the Cole portal. The purpose of the formative approach is to ensure that the various quality elements are being carefully considered, embedded and refined in a given course. Summative evaluation establishes that the blended course has all the appropriate design elements and is good enough to promote deep learning. The rubric should therefore be used throughout the design and development stages of a blended learning course.